Hey guys, my name is Jocelyn Garcia and today I want to share with you the top five tips that I have for high school seniors when transitioning to college. And so the first tip that I have for you guys is to do your research. You want to make sure that whatever college you're interested in actually has whatever you want to study. So that could be your major, a minor, a certificate, or just any other program that you're really interested in studying. You want to make sure that that college has it. And you also want to look into the different resources that that college has in order for you to succeed and for that college to be the best fit for you. And so my next tip is to apply as early as possible and that ranges from college applications to scholarships to different honors programs applications and stuff like that. And so I really recommend you guys to apply as early as you can because then you can get more help because you have more time, whether it's like correcting an error or just any questions that you have about the application process. And not only that, but that way you're taking advantage of more opportunities that you can have as an early applicant rather than doing it last minute. The next tip that I have for you guys is to always be applying for any type of financial aid, whether that's FAFSA or a scholarship or even loans. You want to make sure that you're asking those questions early and really applying for all of that and a and for as much as you can, especially with those loans, you want to make sure that you are getting the right type of loans and you're not putting yourself into more debt than you have to. The next step for you is to narrow down your choices. You want to make sure that you aren't ending up with a list of 10 colleges to choose from in April or May, but rather have two to three. And that's because at the beginning of the year, um, most seniors tend to apply to as many colleges that they can to get into as many and to really just have those options but as you get towards the end you really start to feel overwhelmed and you don't really know what you want and so in order to not be in that position in April you really want to make sure that you're narrowing them down as you get closer to April. My final tip for you guys is to begin to make a checklist and that's for everything on that checklist you want to make sure that you're always applying for scholarships. We also want to start applying for housing, for clubs, for work positions, or for anything else that you're interested in that college. You want to make sure that you're making that checklist so that you don't fall behind and don't forget the different deadlines that come with choosing a university and choosing any of the programs that you want to be a part of. <laughs> so those were my five tips for you guys and I really wish you the best of luck and you can always feel free to reach out to me or any other student ambassador in the admissions office or even in the orientation office as to like what are the next steps after you decide to come to the university. But I wish you guys the best of luck and have a great day.